You may be wondering what these plans are and how they are changing the world, right? Before we start, have you ever thought that there might be more to the world than what we see? I'm going to talk about some things that happen behind the scenes that we don't usually see. To be honest, some of the things I'm about to say may sound a little crazy. But I'm sure there are three secret plans going on right now that you should be aware of. Trust me when I say that you will want to know about them, even if you don't think you need to. Dolores Cannon was a groundbreaking hypnotherapist and author who made important contributions to our spiritual and metaphysical knowledge. In her writing, she often talked about forces that we can't see. In books like The Convoluted Universe, she went deep into the dimensions that are beyond our normal understanding. There, she found answers about the nature of reality and the hidden forces that control our lives. As we talk about these issues, keep in mind that I'm not just someone who looks around and makes assumptions. I do a lot of research, and I've known about many of these things since 2020, when I had my spiritual awakening. At first, I didn't pay much attention to these insights, but now I think they're more important than ever especially if you have been quarantined and are starting to think about things or see patterns. I stress how important it is to look at these issues in a positive way. The things that are happening are unsettling, but I think many good things are happening too. The world's energy is changing, and the old systems that kept it in check are beginning to break down. People are beginning to take back their power at this point in time. Let's talk about the three hidden plans I mentioned. You may be stuck at home right now, which gives you a unique chance to think about the bigger picture. First, there is the agenda of the elite. And by elite, I do not mean merely the very rich. It's about a small group of powerful people who have always worked behind the scenes to stay in charge by changing people's thoughts and actions. It would surprise you to learn who these people are. They're not always the ones in the spotlight. They're usually the ones running things from the background. The majority hasn't been told much about this elite group, and their methods aren't always clear. They use their power in a sneaky way, usually through well-known people who speak for them and reach and affect a lot of people. This is a planned way to stay in charge and keep people from realising how powerful and capable they really are. Let's go deeper into this secret world and find out the long-hidden truths. We could call these people celebrities or the elite, but the truth is that they have a lot of power because they have so many followers. They have the power to spread specific information and subtly plant ideas in the minds of their audience, which changes people's plans. This fascinating look goes deep into the complex web of power and influence that runs beneath the surface of our everyday lives. An interesting example of this complicated relationship can be seen in an Instagram post by the famous actor Tom Hanks. At first view, the post seems harmless because it has a normal typewriter in it. But a closer look shows that there are many hidden messages and signs. This is where things get stranger. The post says that Tom Hanks loves this 25-pound typewriter and takes it with him when he travels. If you're going to carry such a heavy item across borders, it's especially strange if the name of the item has something to do with current events happening around the world. What are the chances? Hanks talks about losing to his wife by 201 points at a game called Remy in the post. If you look into this more, you can find links to an event from 2001 that has something to do with Bill Gates and vaccines. This brings us to a key point. How the elite shape public opinion and readiness. They make people more open to certain ideas or actions by making them afraid and then giving them ways to deal with their fears. What's the most interesting thing about all of this? The obvious ways these messages are sent are right in front of us but many people still don't get them. This level of influence and messaging isn't just seen in celebrities. It's happening all over the place and has big effects. What does this mean for us? It's an invitation to pay more attention and think more deeply about the stories and information we hear. It's about being aware of the bigger plans at play and choosing not to be a part of them. 
Think about this. How could you get people to support vaccines? Fear is the answer. People are more open to ideas they might not have considered before if they are scared and then locked up. It's a plan that takes advantage of weakness and fear. According to the research I did, even though vaccines are said to be good for you, they may contain harmful substances that are used for control at different levels. There is more. At the very top, some groups do rituals that have an effect on the whole consciousness. Think about how much energy was put into that typewriter and then shared with millions of people. Getting over 1.6 million likes on a post like this establishes certain associations in people's minds. These celebrities' actions, coded messages and use of symbols on sites like Twitter are incredibly clear. Madonna is another example. She has also used the same typewriter imagery in her photos and videos, which is a pattern that is hard to explain away as a chance event. What does all of this mean? This refers to ways that powerful people keep most people in the dark and also try to control what happens. But we can choose. We don't have to take part or give these symbols power. Being aware is the most powerful thing we can have. But we also need to not be afraid. Fear only makes them stronger in their control. I'm sure that the long-standing balance of power is changing. The ground under these controlling entities is crumbling, which means they are losing the power they have had for a long time. Being aware is important, but don't give in to fear. As we become aware of these truths and make different decisions, we reclaim our power and help break down these old control systems. Our planet is going through a change right now. Many people are waking up and starting to question their reality during this time. The awakening isn't just happening in individuals, it's also happening in the media. Think about this. Six big companies run almost all of the media outlets. Imagine that they were working together to change people's minds by adding fear to their stories to control the masses. When people watch the news, they hear a lot of scary stories which makes them feel anxious and uncertain. But there is a shift going on. More and more people are starting to see how mainstream media is full of lies and manipulation. This realization is part of a bigger awakening of the spirit. In the next few years, I think there will be a big change in the media landscape. One day, there may be news sources that are truly impartial and report the news in a fair and accurate way. The way the media works now often gives a skewed picture of what's going on in the world, making it seem like isolated events are common. The goal of this trick is to keep people scared and dependent, looking to authorities for safety and certainty. Due to their control by large corporations, the media rarely contradicts the narrative. There are many stories of journalists who were punished severely for telling the truth. But this time of controlled information is coming to an end. There is a change happening that is moving the media toward honesty and openness. This change is very important for our shared consciousness. We reach a higher level of awareness as we move away from fear and manipulation. Our view of the world and how we interact with it will both change because of this change. The future of media isn't just news stories. It's a shift in how people think about things. The way things are going is both interesting and energizing. It's getting harder for the people who have been manipulating things behind the scenes for a long time. They can feel the ground breaking under them. This change is clear even in the way they talk to each other. On social media sites like Twitter, they often use coded messages. It's shockingly clear, especially when it comes to famous people like Tom Hanks. The strange symbols they use are not just a coincidence, they are part of a bigger story. Think about this. A lot of people believe that the collective consciousness of all people affects our reality. Powerful people have used Hollywood for a long time to get this information. Movies like Contagion, which I haven't seen but know about, reflect what's going on in the world right now. These productions are more than just fun. They make us think about certain situations which affects what we expect and how we react.
My goal here with you was to make my videos easy for everyone to understand by not introducing such strange topics all at once. Now I'll talk about the third hidden goal. It may be hard to grasp at first, but it's important to remember that humans are not the only ones living in the universe. The universe is very big, never-ending, and full of different kinds of life. It is important to recognize this fact if we want to have a better understanding of our place in the universe and the events that are happening in it. The public hasn't been told the truth about life on other planets for a long time, but some people in power have. The old powers that relied on keeping things secret and manipulating people are seeing their systems fall apart. I think that when this happens, there will be a big revelation. The official acknowledgement of alien life and their interactions with humans. This information will completely change how we think about the universe and our place in it. We often think about our unique place in this huge universe and wonder if we're the only intelligent beings that live here. People who are interested enough to look for it can find a lot of information. A show on Gaia called Cosmic Disclosure with interesting guests has been helpful to me since I first heard it. People like these, who are sometimes called whistleblowers, talk about the amazing things that happened when they worked with aliens at underground facilities. These facilities are not usually run by the government, but by private companies and sometimes by the military. This information isn't just from far away. In fact, this direct connection opened my eyes to the fact that governments have known for a long time that aliens exist, but have kept this information from the public, keeping us in the dark about these important facts. I'm sure that in our lifetime we will see something that has never happened before, proof that aliens exist. This new information will completely change how we think about the universe. It will show us that we're not alone and that many of these aliens are good and live in a higher vibrational state of consciousness. They know how well we are linked and wouldn't hurt us. So, there is no reason to be scared. Instead, this is a chance to learn more about the universe we live in. This view is similar to that of the well-known author and hypnotherapist Dolores Cannon, whose books also dealt with similar topics. She looked into how the universe is connected and whether there are beings from other worlds through her quantum healing hypnosis technique. Her books, like The Three Waves of Volunteers and The New Earth and The Convoluted Universe series, give deep insights into these topics, which makes it even more likely that we will hear about them in our lifetime. Please watch my other videos for more information on how to look at conspiracy theories in a positive light and the possibility of alien contact. If you're still with me, I extend my gratitude for your presence, and if you wish, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you.